So today is day five of my juice cleanse fast detox thing, but then it is day four of my blog, vlog, because this is video. And like I said on my IG, if you guys follow me on there, like I've just been recognizing, I've been recognizing like some stuff. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't even know that I had like basically given up on my dream until I like I basically forgot what my dream was like I forgot what my whole bread and butter was and I had like settled I had settled so majorly and so like big that I don't even like I forgot like I don't even I can't even like put it into words and that's saying something because I'm a talker y'all have seen okay but what what y'all tell me how I forgot my entire dream <laughs> like my entire my dream like the thing the essence of me how did I forget it I like lost myself to logic. I lost myself to paying bills. I lost myself to what would make sense right now. I didn't, I just, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's like I counted myself out before I even really got started. And I didn't even recognize that until I was like, wait a minute. That was my dream. That was my dream. That was my dream. And honestly, it wouldn't have happened without the um steps. leading up to this moment i would say like before i started this juice fast cleanse dogs deep deep tox fast cleanse detox thing i had had like an epiphany and i was like okay essentially all i am here on this planet to do is to shine like essentially all i'm here on this planet to do is to shine to be my best self and to radiate love and positivity however I choose however I see fit. And here I am counting myself out in my head, literally limiting myself because of random nonsense, comparing myself to the other person for no reason. When in fact, the only thing limiting me is these thoughts and these belief systems. And here I am trying to preach it to the world. Like, ha, you gotta change yourself to be changed and it's like i'm not even taking my own advice at this point i forgot my entire dream i cannot get over that i forgot my dream my whole dream i just forgot it and i think it's because <laughs> i think it's because it was just too big it was too big it's too it was too scary too big too scary too impossible to one in a million i didn't think that i had the chops to do it when that's not true that is not true <laughs> that is not true that is not true Listen, I have been blessed with gifts, skills, talents, abilities that are necessary, that are beautiful, that are completely needed in, in the world right now. Hence the word necessary. But I was sleeping on myself. How was I sleeping on myself so hard? How did I get lost in the sauce, the proverbial sauce? How did this happen? I'm wondering. I feel like it's easier for me to, to, to like even discern that I was doing this because... I'm like not eating food. And so it's like food was like my main thing, right? And like, I'm even noticing it now when I'm thinking of this dream that I had like placed in the back shelf of my mind, I was just like, okay, every time I think about doing it, I eat something. Every time, even now when I'm on this fast, I think about doing it and I want to eat something. I want to be like, okay, give me pleasure now because that's what I want right now. When in fact... It's just, it's just a momentary thing. And I feel like, oh my God, I'm, you guys, like this is literally blowing my mind. How did I forget my entire, like my dream, my dream? How did I forget my entire dream? And I started, I don't know. I started building up these random belief systems. I started having these random judgments. I started having these weird comparisons that came out of nowhere that, just to placate myself and staying and staying mediocre and staying here when I could be here when I could be here 
because this is where my potential is. My potential is it's infinite to be here and to recognize yourself as a divine being of love and light is to recognize that your potential is infinite my potential is infinite and i forgot <laughs> i forgot i forgot just living my everyday regular ass life i done forgot i done forgot i done got complacent within my own dreamscape <laughs> It's almost so sad. It really is. Like, how could that happen? How did that end up happening? How did I end up succumbing to random stuff, nonsense, garbage? That is not my truth. I'm recognizing also that these belief system, that the belief system or the thought process kept me safe. It kept me feeling safe. And it kept me, I guess, um sane when navigating social media right because when you're looking at other people living your dream and they're doing it beautiful and in ways you could have never imagined it's hard it's hard on the ego to process so that's why the ego is like oh you didn't even really want that oh you're doing this it's way more important it's way more crucial it's way more necessary to the evolution of humanity anyway so focus on that instead let them have that you're having this and that's not true I almost feel like it almost feels like a betrayal of self to have had that happen like to have forgotten my literal dream and <laughs> I don't know ah! like why would you ever count yourself out like why did I ever count myself out I think it's because like I said it was to keep myself safe in that moment because I just didn't I was literally busy comparing myself to the competition out there when really there is no competition <laughs> I was comparing myself to other people and their processes, their growth, their 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 stardom, their fame, their beauty, their magnificence, their shine instead of nurturing my own my own shine. And look at me, moonshine. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. I'm like I'm <sighs> I'm sleeping on my own radiance. I'm sleeping on my own shine. I'm sleeping on my own effervescence. And here I am forgetting my own dream. Yo, it'll do it to you. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. Like, I really don't even know what to say. That like literally blew my mind. Like this is such an epiphany that if I can have anything I want, if I can literally do anything I want, money, like a non-factor, if I could just do what I want, then I know what I would be doing. And it's crazy that I'm not doing that. Knowing all that I know about like the universe and how manifestation works and how, um, yeah, just how the universe, how blessings work, how miracles work, how manifestation works, knowing all of that, I still was caught up in this ego, logistical mind of just being like, oh, well, I need to do this, this, and this before I can have this, before I can feel stable enough to do this. When it's like, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. It's time for me to shine. It's time for me to be my best self. It's time for me to come correct because that's just what I love to do. I love to be myself. I love to be myself. And I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad for this opportunity because I got to see what contributed to this, this, this amnesia in the first fucking place. How I don't forgot my whole dream, y'all. <laughs> like, how I don't forgot my whole motherfucking dream, y'all. That's crazy. And even now, like, even now, I'm like, I hear it, the doubt in the back of my mind that it's like, oh, no, 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 but it's going to be hard like this. Do this instead. Do this instead. What about this? What about this? What about that? Nonsense. Ego minds hear me now i love you i love you all you want to do is to keep me safe and i love and i appreciate that but i am letting that go i am focusing on the present moment and i am letting your bullshit go i love honor and appreciate this thank you for trying to keep me safe thank you for trying to keep me comfortable it makes me happy when you do things for my benefit I release you with love. I release you with gratitude. I release you with peace. It's now time for me to live my best motherfucking life. Period. Like what? How I forgot my whole dream.